Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Today we are going to talk about an IVR on the UCM. So the IVR is when you call in and you get that interactive voice that says press one for reception, press two for sales. That is your IVR, the uh, interactive voice response. So you log into your UCM, you go to call features and you go to IVR. And from here we have to create a new IVR. For here, uh, We're going to call this just the H5 IVR. Default extension 7000 would be great. Now if this thing's going to dial outside lines we do have to click this dial trunk make sure it has the proper permissions to do that but we are not going to use this specific IVR for that. We are however going to use it to dial extensions. So that is checked by default. We're going to leave that there. We're going to scroll down. Now we can record a custom prompt. So for the prompt you can select a prompt or you can record a, um, a custom prompt or click in here you can upload a prompt and your prompt is what's going to say you know for Willie press 1 for Tim press 2 for the operator press 0 that's what your prompt is going to say or something similar to that but that, that's what your prompt is right so we'll uh, we'll get to recording that prompt here in just a second if you've got one that's professionally uh, recorded and edited you can upload it here if it's an mp3 it's automatically going to get transcoded over to wave you've got your digit timeout so what is this is uh, after the user enters a digit the user needs to enter the next digit within these many seconds the response timeout is 10 seconds it will go through that loop um, three times before it just hangs up so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on key pressing events. Now, a lot of people will try to zero out of your IVR and get to a live person. So what I like to do is on the zero, if you don't want that to happen, you can select the IVR. We're going to go ahead and save our IVR real quick so that we can select that. Um, so we're going to go back here and we're going to edit this. We're going to go to our key key pressing events. So for press zero, we're going to go to IVR and we're going to select the H5 IVR. So if they hit zero, they're going to get the IVR again. Uh, if we are going to press one, we want it to go to an extension, we want it to go to Willy Howe. If you press two, we want it to go to another extension, we want it to go to 1001, so on and so forth. You can set this up for ring groups, you can set this up for voicemail, conference rooms, uh, group voicemail, ring group, the queues, if you have a call queue, which we're going to get into, a paging or intercon group, if you want somebody to be able to call in and for some reason page the entire building, you could do that. Uh, custom prompt, fax, hang up or dial by name. So you can dial the, ext uh, the uh, extensions by name. This custom prompt, you could record custom things like today the store hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are closed from noon to one every day for lunch. And you could have that as your, you know, your custom prompt that people get when they press three. We're going to take that out of there. And once you have all of your options set up, you click save and apply. And then that, that would be it. Now, uh, what you do have to do is come in here to your inbound route and you edit the inbound route and for your destination you could actually select IVR and then H5 so now when whenever any call comes in over our IV or over our copper trunk they're gonna get that IVR first we're gonna build a bunch of this stuff over the next few weeks and then we're gonna actually uh, make calls and test everything that we've been setting up so that's it if an inbound call comes in now on our copper trunk they are gonna get the NVR. So the other thing that we were looking at is the um, custom prompts. So what you want to do is you want to go, if you want to record a custom prompt for your IVR, you can go over to voice prompt, which is under PBX settings, go to the custom prompt, and then hit up oh, from here. Now, like I said, if, if you could record the, or upload the prompt 
on that IVR screen. If you had one, you can also upload the custom prompt here, or you can hit record new custom prompt. If you're going to record, you put in the file name. So this one would be IVR1. Select the format, either GSM or WAVE. You can leave it GSM. Uh, or And then, what extension do you want the UCM to call you on so that you can record? So we would select 100. We would hit record. Extension 1000 starts to ring. And I can actually show you this um, on my live system. But you would record, and then you hang up and your voice prompt is there. So let me switch over to the live UCM and we'll take a look at that real quick. All right, so we're over here on the live uh, UCM and I'm uh, at extension 5000. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go down to our voice prompt and we're gonna go to custom prompt and <laughs> we are going to hit uh, record new custom prompt and we're going to call this IVR-1. I'm going to tell it to ring um, extension 5000 and then you're going to hear the system uh, prompt me. So we're going to hit record. Phone is ringing. Please speak louder to ensure a clear recording. When done, hang up or press the pound key for more options. Thank you for calling H5 Technology. For Willie Howe, press 1. For Tim Bear, press 2. To order pizza, press 3. To tell us how you like your steak, press 4. Press 1 to accept this recording. Press 2 to listen to it. Press 3 to, to listen to it. your message. Thank you for calling H5 Technology. For Willie Howe, press 1. For Tim Bear, press 2. To order pizza, press 3. To tell us how you like your steak, press 4. Press 1 to accept this so recording. So we're going to accept that press recording. Press 2 to listen to it. Saved. Goodbye. We'll end the call. We'll come back over to the UCM. We'll hit refresh. Go back to the custom prompt. And now you can see that IVR-1 is in the system. So we can assign that to our IVR. Now obviously this H5 on the live system is the IVR that you get when you call me. So that's it. That uh, IVR, you know, we're, we're starting to, you know, we put together, you know, in the last video, we put together those uh, routes, trunks, call patterns, and now we've got IVR. So you can see how we're starting to kind of build this up. There are just so many options inside of a phone system and the UCM uh, that you, I mean, we can do so many things with these systems. But that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you do need consulting, uh, best practices in networking, security, voice over IP, web design, all that good stuff, you can go to h5llc.com down there, fill out that contact form, and somebody will be in touch with you. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the link is down there. If you want to buy any of the gear that you've seen on the channel, we do have that Amazon link down below. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you in the next video.